Alright, let's do this. Final battle against May, and she must be pretty pissed to have watched me uh, go all over town for over 30 minutes and do anything but talk to her. Anyway, this battle begins with Skarmory against Tropius, a matchup that definitely goes to my advantage, thanks to my flying type versus its grass type. Magical Leaf misses because I think it was only in Generation 1 that Swift could hit the um, uh, Pokemon that were underground or in the sky. And since I am not very inspired by a Skarmory versus uh, Slugma matchup, especially since it might have Flame. Oh, it has Magma Armor! Well, there was no danger in switching Gardevoir in for free. And yeah, it's a Slugma. What do you expect? Even a Mag Cargo would have gone down like this. And she's got a Ludicolo next. I'm gonna send Armory back out since one of Ludicolo's rare weaknesses is flying. But yeah, just pay attention. This is the final battle against May, and she has two Pokemon that can still evolve: Slugma and Marsh Tom. And yeah, Nature Power turned into Swift. What's with that? What's with her and? Perfect accuracy moves anyway. I'm in the air! You can't hit me! And yeah, one hit KO against Ludicolo as well. And this is her final Pokemon, Marsh Tom. We don't ever get to see her evolve her starter into its final form. Ever! This is just plain sad. And yeah, this is a matchup that I lost once on Route 110 when Gardevoir was still a Kirlia, but, but history doesn't repeat itself, and I even overkill it with a critical, which probably didn't change much, and Gardevoir gains a level as the battle ends, and yeah, this was the final battle against me, as I said, it's just plain pathetic. Rivals are supposed to keep you on your toes until the end of the game, Blue did it, Silver did it, Barry did it, but May, she just gives up halfway through! That's stupid! What were those game designers thinking? Did they really think that I'd consider Wally as a rival battle? Well, this is probably what the game designers intended, but for me, it doesn't go over that well. I'll complete my Pokedex before you, well, I'm sorry, but you can't. Now, you wanna know why? Because you need to see all sorts of legendaries to, to fill your Pokedex. And it just so happens that random characters, even rivals, very, very rarely get the chance to even see a legendary for their Pokedex. So, don't even count on it. Of course, I'm not intending on filling up the Pokedex either, but I still have a, have a better shot of it than May does. And, okay, this is the Lily Cove Lottery, I guess. And, uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna draw a ticket, even though the chances of me winning something are 1 in 65,536. And I believe if I win, I get a Master Ball, and unlike in Generation 4, I don't think uh, it checks, you know, if I, if you only have the, the last number right, or the last two number rights, you still win a prize in Generation 4, but I don't think that's the case here. And of course, I lost, because, well, as I said, the chances are really, really slim. And so let's check out what the department store has to offer in terms of merchandise. Usually the second floor of a department store is items, basic items like potions, pokeballs, repels, and okay we got all kinds of balls, escape row, things for statuses, a fluffy tail even. Not that it's that useful, it's just a replacement for the run command that costs something, potions, repels, and even mails. No thanks, I'm gonna pass on the mails. I don't understand what kind of purpose mails ma mail serves anyway. And yeah, that's about it for the second floor. So let's check out the next one. I wonder... Oh yeah, this is probably the floor that gives you stat uppers, whether they're permanent or temporary. There's one of those ladies here that's gonna sell me stuff like carbos or protein or zinc. And the other is gonna give me X attack, X defend, uh, guard spec, and uh, whatever. So yeah, 
Let's see if I'm right, but I probably am, because all the NPCs were talking about those items. And yeah, this is just freaking sad. Nah, actually, it was kind of expected. It's not like uh, that main neck trick from the other video, or that line from that guy who gives you a berry at the eastern edge of town. And okay, floor floor now. Oh yeah, this is for TMs, I believe. So let's check out what TMs they sell here. Okay, this is Protect, Light Screen, Reflect, and Safeguard. Not necessarily in order, but that's just sad. And here is Fire Blast, Thunder, Blizzard, and Hyper Beam. Yeah, I memorized a lot of them. Not all of them, but the most commonly used one, like uh, those that I just looked at, I remember those. And while moves like Fire Blast or Thunder or, um, or Blizzard, they're uh, a lot worse in terms of, you know, the general idea than Ice Beam or Thunderbolt or, or Flamethrower, though Flamethrower and Fire Blast is actually pretty close, but the thing with those super high power moves like Thunder and Blizzard, they're actually dirt cheap compared to uh, Thunderbolt and Ice Beam, which you need to get at the game corner. And this uh, floor here, I guess it sells stuff for your secret base, so obviously I am not going to spend a single penny here. Especially since those items, which have no practical use whatsoever, cost several thousands of dollars. So I'm not even gonna bother with these. I guess if you're into that kind of thing, you could buy them, uh, provided that you have enough money to do so. And you, I guess you could just battle Gabby and Ty over and over to get uh, that kind of money quickly, but otherwise, it's not really worth it. I'd rather use that money to buy Pokeballs and healing items and stuff like that. And oh, this is the rooftop just like in red, blue, and yellow, and I guess the vending machines here s sell the same stuff to lemonade, soda pop, that kind of thing, and okay. What does she want? Now this is just weird. Okay, she's the substitute uh, move tutor, so I'm gonna pass. Make a copy of itself using it. No, it doesn't make a copy of itself, it just substitutes itself for a Rhydon doll. So unless you're Rhydon, that's not true at all. Well, they have said this for their clear out sales. Um, I don't know really what he's talking about. Maybe there are sales here on the rooftop every now and then, but I've never actually managed to see one. So, yeah, those vending machines sold the same thing as in red, blue, and yellow, so I guess now I'm done with the department store. And so my next destination, now that I finally have the Pokeblock case, is going to be the Safari Zone. There are a few items to grab there, as well as I want the female Psyduck for my breeding chain, which hopefully I'm gonna... Well, I'm gonna do it today. I'm gonna do it today because I, I think I'm, uh, I'm in the mood for actually doing all the hard work today. As, a, as opposed to, you know, oh man, I don't feel like doing it today because it's too much hard work. I'm, fe I'm feeling in the mood to do it today, so it might be a double program, a triple program, I don't know, but I am going to see it through. I am going to get that my lotting today. And now that I have my Pokeblock case, this guy can't stop me anymore, even though it's completely empty, which doesn't make any difference at all. And yeah, the rules are the same as in red, blue, and yellow. You got 500 steps or 30 safari balls. Oh yeah, you can also stuck, stick poke blocks in, into those things that you see at the middle in the middle of the grass. But usually they, I don't know how exactly they work, but they, I, in my experience, they don't do jack shit. So, oh yeah, this part here, beyond those two guys, it's still under construction. Those are areas you can only get to after you beat uh, the Elite Four. And those are Emerald only, those weren't there in Ruby and Sapphire. And this part here, I can only access this part with the Acrobite. But there's another part that I need the Mock Bike to get to. 